Hey up me ducks, welcome back to the channel. I've been really busy with Liverpool fan channels on YouTube this week. So I thought what I'd do is summarise the best bits and clips from those previews. So go and enjoy and follow those all. They're in the description, each channel individually, from Craig from the Anfield Agenda, James Redmond TV, and the Coppish lads, Callum, Matt and Drifty. Make sure you go and have a look in the description. They're all there. Please like the video, subscribe. I'll see you on the Watch Along show at 6.50 on Sunday between Liverpool and Leicester. I can't flip in weight. Check the video out anyway, and I'll see you then. The Champions yep. League. Yep, I'm the same. I want right Liverpool for... to go deep. I mean, of course I want us to defend the title, but if you yeah. offered me right now the Champions League or the Premier League title, I'm taking the Champions League. Of course. I mean, it's the biggest, it's the biggest cup in club competition and we are fact. one behind united in league titles so there is that and a lot of, i can almost hear a lot of red screaming at me now and i get it but <laughs> i just love the european cup i just love like look at our best memories as liverpool fans recently barcelona yeah istanbul yeah beating spurs as well like i mean you beat spurs and spurs that's what you do you beat spurs in finals because spurs not win at them but apart from little details, Listen, spurs, we, we, we we beat spurs to the premier league title don't worry we know we're both we've both been there they are the bottlers of the bottlers simple as that and they ain't going to win it this season by the way they are not going to win no they haven't even got through their harry key harry kane injury season yet because he always has a little a little oh, important yeah. really important part as well he always pulls up injured yeah, Glashins, mate. There was Glashins. a few results where we kind of just lost our heads, like the Bournemouth one, for example. I think I think it was a four. Was it four one to Bournemouth? Yeah, that was you know, a weird game. Yeah, that was a weird one. We were one, yeah. one nil up. Casper yeah. Schmeichel made an error, and then the next thing you know, Sunchu gets red carded, and the whole yeah. thing just went to shot. You know, a little yeah. it, one game like that can change the whole you know aspect of your season, and and that for me was it. That, that game was it. Everyone, everyone's heads had gone, as well as the injuries, and that was it. We lost Champions League football. But hey-ho, we're, we're into a new season. We're top of the league with injuries, and we've got these players that we've mentioned that cost us possibly Champions League. We've got them coming back, and we're bloody top, lads. We're bloody top! <laughs> yeah. Matt, your thoughts, your thoughts. Yep. Um, I think the only major... I say you've got two major injuries at the moment, which I think are Sionchu and, and Pereira. Yeah, uh, but as you said, Pereira's looked like he's on the way back. But other than that, your your I say your first eleven or, or I say first thirteen players are very very strong, and I think if you can keep those guys fit, you're going to give every single person one hell of a game. And I think that's including us. Like we've got a lot of injuries. Um, I, this is one game. I'll be honest with you. This is probably the wrong time to play Leicester because you're on a high right now. And Jamie yeah. Vardy. Loves to score. Oh, doesn't again. he just? Look at, doesn't what was it when you guys um, beat Arsenal a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, like yeah. it was a great play from um, I think it what's his name? Is it under. under the Undertaker. Under. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Undertaker. He he looks like a player. I'd guess, and people will disagree, of course, as you do as fans. But I'm thinking Robbo at left back, probably James Milner to play at right back. And then if Fabinho straight himself alongside Joe, or not Joe Gomez, excuse me, Joe Matip. And if Matip or Fabinho, if Fabinho isn't available, Reese Williams, who he did report back from the under-21s with a little bit of a hip injury, but I think he'll be okay. So it'll be him or Nat Phillips, I would imagine. But I'm hoping Fabinho's available. But look, I'll take that back for, it's okay. To be fair, Jimmy Milner will do a job anywhere on the pitch. I mean, we won't have the same attacking intent going forward with James Milner right back than we would with Trent. But... Uh, Fabinho, Matip, Rob, I take it, mate. It's not ideal, but, you know, if, if we get Fabinho back, it'll be a big plus for us. But I think for Liverpool, the system, the the way that we play it, it's set up. We've had a little tweak in system, by the way. I don't know if, you, if you've noticed this recently. We've gone from a four, flat 4-3-3 to, to something like a 4-2-3-1 or a 4-2-1-3 yeah, well, or a 4-2-2-2. Two, two, two. Yeah. I'm just looking um, at and I now, think, yeah. I think that's to get the best out of Thiago when he comes in to give us another option through the centre because we usually play the balls through our full-backs or Van Dijk or somebody ping the long ball over the top. This will give us a little bit more going through the centre. So for me, the whole new system with that front four of potentially when they're all fit and available, Salah, Mane, Jota, Firmino maybe playing the attack in midfield yeah. role, it's going to be Hendo and Thiago or Genie and Thiago just, just anchoring the midfield. That excites me. Yeah, well, the one player that's exciting me at the minute for Liverpool, and I've got to say, is is Jota. He's he's unreal. Uh, what a signing that is to pull him in. Um, oh, my God, if if there's one, Diogo. That's what we're calling them now, Diogo. Yo, Di oh, Diogo. Oh, okay, <laughs> I like that. That's that's got a catch to it, mate. Um, um yeah, he's one player. To my brother, I was like, listen, 
Leicester are going to win this game, and I bet you Vardy still scored. I guarantee you, he was like, oh, I don't know, I think it might be a draw. I was like, listen, Vardy is going to score against yep. Arsenal. And lo and behold, he does exactly what he says on the team. Yeah. He's there to score goals. This is what he does. This is, listen, as a pure striker, top three in the league, as a pure striker, yeah. I, I don't think you can really argue with that, in my opinion. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Like, it's just... You just got. To, you've got to just give him his credit, man. And dare I say, he, is, man. he should Premier be. A, he should be a regular for England as well. He should be a regular for England. Yeah, yeah. yeah but you know what? Be. He's picked his club career and prolonged it instead of flying on pointless flights to sit yeah. on pointless benches or playing in pointless positions. Yeah, yeah. The man, yeah. the man knows exactly what he's doing. He's fucked it off, and he's, you know, that's it. I respect him for it as well. No, I do. I do yeah, you have to it. give man respect. Yeah, definitely, definitely. The man himself, Sorry, you should know who Lee Chappie is. I mean, Lee, first off, isn't it quite conceited to, to have yourself on your own little banner to, to the left of you there with James Madison to the right? <laughs> nah, Lee, Go body to the left, the matters to the right. <laughs> <laughs> you must get that all the time, Lee, the James uh... jokes. Mate, honestly, if if I had a pound for every time someone said I look like Vardy <laughs> or okay, I would be a millionaire. I would be a millionaire, literally. <laughs> we go. We're all ready to go. Before we do this, this is injury. This is the injury FC derby. Is this it, this is this is this is honestly this is like wheelchairs versus crutches FC. This is <laughs> this is uh, this is nuts. <laughs> no, that's the perfect way to sum it up. It, in GFC, in fact, that's one thing that you could say hindered you from getting the top four last season because you've been having yeah. these problems since the return of lockdown. And yeah, that was what people yeah, were saying yeah. Brendan Rodgers bottled it, this, that, but really, there was a bigger story for that. What I don't like about uh, the whole thing with Brendan Rodgers is being called a bottler because it was out of his hands. Steven Gerrard slipped, and technically, I know that goes down as a meme forever, but he did lose that yeah. fault, was not Brendan Rodgers' fault. It was not Brendan's fault yeah. that Gerard slipped and you fucking lost it. It wasn't Brendan's fault. So how can it be called a bottler for that? And how can it be called a bottler for us not getting Champions League football last season when we had the fucking injuries that we had? No, yeah, absolutely, 100%. I agree wholeheartedly based on the fact that Brendan Rod And I'm not even trying to blow smoke up yet because I do think Brendan Rodgers was a good manager. When he got sacked, I was thinking... And when you bring up the argument, people call him a bottler... Like, where's, where's the evidence to back this up? Because, like you said, them fine moments, like, and I hate, honestly, like, the day when Gerard slipped and, and you just knew it was going to be a goal even before the goal, eh, the ball hit the net. And Denver Bar starts celebrating. As a young yeah, scout who yeah. hadn't at that point seen us win the league, it was yeah. heartbreaking to a team. Yeah. But you know, like, you at that moment, you're not blaming. You're not going, for fuck's sake, Brendan Rodgers, shouldn't have started Stephen Gerrard. You're thinking... Yeah. Stephen, no. Stephen, you can't say no. that. Yeah, you can't say but that. Like, can you? See, it's it's fine margins. It's the three goals away against the Crystal Palace. Like he sets his team up the three and a up. At, where, yeah. Where's the fine line of when it's the players' fault? And Liverpool did have many faults in their yeah. team that season. A hundred. If you like, if yeah, like if you got battered that game, like you got battered four nil, then it's Brendan's fault because he got his tactics wrong. It's not his fault that he didn't win yeah. the league with Liverpool because Steven Gerrard slipped. So me. Liverpool versus Leicester City. So your record at Anfield is not great. In no, fact, the not. last time you beat us at Anfield was the 21st of April, 1999. And yeah. it was an Ian yeah. Marshall goal and he scored in the 90th minute. So it's... Yeah. By Big all shout out person, to Ian Marsh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Man's on my blower. Anfield Man's record. on my blower. <laughs> <laughs> What's, do, you ever, do you ever come to Anfield and... Do you sort of just write the game off what happens? Why do you think it's taken so long? Like, obviously, you've not been in the Premier League for the last 21 years, but why do you think it has taken so long to potentially break that hoodoo and what is it about Anfield? Uh, it's a big stage and sometimes you get stage fright. We all know, we've all been there, right? In the nightclubs, you're going into the toilets, you're busting for a whiz, you stand at the urinal, you can't do it. You can't do it. <laughs> That's how Leicester have been. 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 <laughs> Stay right. <laughs> uh, on, a serious, what, uh... on, a serious, on a serious note, though, I mean, uh, I, I spoke to uh, AFTV's Robbie, right? Because um, we went to we went to their stadium, the Emirates, and we hadn't won away at Arsenal for forty three years. Wow! Oh, wow! And you know, and we've done it this season. We've done it. So I'm, I'm not yeah. saying I'm not saying anything, boys. But uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think people. 
uh, get too confused with what's in the now and they forget about what was before. We all do it. We're guilty of it. It's like a human thing. Yeah. It's what's present in your mind in that moment, isn't it? And um, I think because Grealish had such a good season, and to be fair to him, he's even started this season really well as well. Everyone's just like, Grealish, Grealish, Grealish. And to be fair, it's probably a bit unfair on the two that they're compared to each other because they play yeah, the same yeah. position anyway. Yeah. But mm, um, yeah, yeah. for me, I still prefer Madison. I just think he's had an injury and he's been out of form and I won't yep. let that change how I feel. Madison, for me, just has that little bit more that I like to watch Finesse. when he's on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? When he's on it, I just think he's just got a little bit of a... That's why I, I used to say... I know he's not as good as Coutinho, but I used to tell you, like, he reminds me the way he moves and stuff of Coutinho. So, Grealish is, is, is a good player, don't get me wrong, but I still kind of slightly lead towards the Madison debate when it comes to those two. As to what season they'll have, if he can stay injury-free, he'll have a great season. Yeah. It just depends whether he can get over this. Because he has been kind of on and off for a little while now. So, yeah. if he can get over that, like I said, you lot know I'm not just saying it for the sake of it. I've been a Madison fan for two years now, so, you know what I mean? Actually, the thing that I was just going to bring up to you, the star man, the one who is fit and the one, if there was anyone who I could choose, and I don't wish injuries on anyone, but if I could choose, it would be Jamie Vardy <laughs> to miss this game. Only only a little ankle injury or something, not a major, <laughs> right, get him back for the next L- Listen, game. listen, Jamie listen. Vardy is a horrible man. Listen, you're chatting shit, you're going to get banged. <laughs> Yeah, I, I will never. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, that goal uh, across the face of Lovren, and I was just thinking, no, no, no. Like, I was, no, this is not going <laughs> to happen. Like, I know Jamie Vardy. Like, do you know how long I thought Jamie Vardy doing well was a fluke? Like, don't get me wrong, I've known he's a baller for years now, but I mean, when he first yeah. came on the scene and he was scored in every game, I was like, this is going to stop, surely. Surely this is just his pace, just getting him through. I Maybe mean, he's still doing it now. I was watching him in the Leeds game it's a couple unreal. of weeks ago and I was thinking, just he is, he is yeah. a next level. And when yeah. I look at this game, one yeah. rumour started coming out about Liverpool at least is that Nat Phillips is the one who's most likely going to start this game, which is actually a shame because first off, two weeks ago, I thought it could have been Fabinho. Even the other day on the terrace, I said Fabinho was probably going to enter in that spot. Now that's not looking likely. If I was to replace Fabinho, and obviously no Gomez and Van Dijk, I'd put in Reese Williams purely based on the fact he's more agile, he's more quicker, who have less yeah. Jamie fucking Vardy. No, <laughs> with a mad game of football between the two sides. High-scoring game. I think it's going to be 3-2 to Leicester. Somehow they're going to nick it. I don't know how, but I think we're going to nick it right at the end. I like the ballsiness, mate. I'll be the same. I like it. I respect it. You, but well, you want to be back in your team to win. Now it won't happen, unfortunately for you, because it's going to be sixty-four. I think unbeaten for us at home in the league, and you'll be celebrating the twenty-first next year of not winning at Anfield. And you would expect that from me, Lee. You wouldn't respect me if I didn't say it. I've also given my score predictions elsewhere, and I'm going to go with a two-two in this game. That's what I said elsewhere. And like yourself, I'm going to stick to my score prediction. I think. We won't be able to keep Leicester out with, with the defence that we have. And look, I expect it to be like you, an open, entertaining game of football. It is. Two sides that like to keep the ball and play it in the right way. So it's going to be entertaining. I love that it's moved to a Sunday evening kickoff. I think it'll yes. be more eyes to the yep. game. I yep. love games under the lights as well. I like that new time slot. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to go for a 2-2, Lee. You probably thought I was going for a win there. Well, I'll go for a 2-2, which will keep you guys ahead of us in the league table, unfortunately for us. But, you know, either side can win this game as well, though. It isn't impossible for either side to go out and win it. I just hope, Lee, as always, that if we're talking about this, and I'm sure that we'll have a catch-up afterwards, we're not talking about the referee. We're not talking about VAR. And by the way, David Q has been moved off VAR and being replaced by Andre Mariner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm not They're definitely going to score. Vardy will score. <laughs> that's, that's, a know, know. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a given. That's a given. We're playing. You know how much money I'm this. putting on Leicester to score? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any chance that's Jamie Vardy by any chance? I don't know who will be the goal scorer, it, but it's going was... to be Vardy, bro. Right? <laughs> Vardy will score. Vardy will score. Vardy will score. Um, and we got. Listen, if we got to play. You know, Nat Phillips as well. Yeah, they will definitely score. I think Leicester will score too. I think they'll actually score too. I'm going for a draw. Because even though I think we'll concede a couple of goals, I think we will score a couple. Because I don't think you can stop Mane. And if Jota brings the form that I know he had over the last couple of weeks, then I'm still confident that we will score. So I'm going to say 2-2, you know. Did you see Pixel? 
Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> he, he said Leicester. I so he said Liverpool 2, Leicester 10, he said. <laughs> two pixel two is very nervous about this game. Um, two two, bro. Go, We're losing again. Two two. I'm going. I'm going four three Liverpool. Four three. You think we'll score four yeah. goals? I think we can. Yes, because again, looking at the team Lee brought up on the screen, which is yeah. a team that we think is going to start. I think there's goals in us. To we can get goals against that defense. But remember, we've got no Sally. Huh? Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, four and goals I'm, without I'm, Salah. I'm, I'm, and Bob is firing blanks as well, fam. Oh, no, I know. Right. Let, I me, know. let me tell you Jotter this. Mane. Jotter and Mane. The only way, ah, the ah, only ah, way ah. we will score four goals is if he plays Divock. Because the last time Mo wasn't oh, playing, <laughs> Divock was the one who... Ch- no, no, am I lying, man? Am I lying? We're playing Everton. Salah wasn't yeah. playing. And yeah, Mane yeah. and Shakiri and Origi put on a masterclass up front in that game when we smashed Everton. That would be the only way if Origi plays. Maybe we can get four goals if Origi plays. Well, I, I don't think Origi's going to play, but I, I think we'll get four. I'm not saying he won't come on. He might come on and get a goal, but I think I think four three. But I wouldn't be surprised. All I know is two, two, there's two, going two. to be goals in this game and I'm going to age yeah. after watching this game and it's going to be rough. <laughs> uh, it's going to be rough. It's, prob- <clears throat> it's probably at least 101. 100 to 1 for a nil-nil. It's got to be. 